the single most important thing done in this body is when we uphold our oath to protect and defend the Constitution of the United States. I therefore would like to bring to the attention of the body two instances while we were on break in which the Constitution was under attack, and I don't think enough Americans know about it. One of the things was in the state of New Mexico, the governor of New Mexico decided to declare war on the Second Amendment on the grounds that there was an uptick or maybe a big increase in murders in the Albuquerque area. The Second Amendment is absolute. We don't get rid of the Second Amendment if the murder rate is up 30 percent last year or whatever. The reason we don't get rid of it is our forefathers wanted the power to be with the people, not the government. But it's particularly ridiculous in that it's obvious why we've had an uptick in murders in the last three years in this country. And I think there are three obvious reasons. One, the government is mucking around where they shouldn't by, uh, well, as was mentioned uh, by the founders of Black Lives Matter, we're trying to, there are people around here who want to destroy disrupt what they refer to as the Western prescribed nuclear family. In other words, they want to get the man out of the household. We also have people trying to elect district attorneys who don't like to put people in jail, judges who don't like to put people in jail, and anti-police forces who make the police timid. And when all these things get done, you wind up having an increase in murders. Um, I want to point out that John Adams said that America was built for a moral and religious people. We've got to get back to that moral and religious people so they don't abuse their right to guns. But in the interim, the idea of leaving guns in the hands of the law breaking, which of course is what will happen, and taking guns from the people who are law abiding could not be worse. I do not know, it is almost hard to believe that at this time in our history, we have people who want to, a governor, a lawyer no less, who wants to enact a law taking away the guns from the law abiding, but presumably leaving in place the policies which resulted in an increase in murders in the first place by not taking action against the type of people who are breaking the law. 